Hey guys, Mike here at MS Tutorials and welcome back to a new video. Well, as I usually do, uh, I'm going to uh, address a subscriber request and today's question came from Jim and Jim asked me to uh, explain how to create an animated tree. Okay, so, you know, just uh, wind blowing through the leaves and the branches, you know, moving slowly and so forth, right? Now, first of all, we obviously need to create a tree. Now for that, we're going to use a paint effect and we're going to get that out of the visor, which is in our general editors. Okay. So where is that? What is that? And how can I find that? I'll explain. Okay. So we're going to start in windows. We're going to go to general editors and we're going to go down to visor. All right. Now this shows you a bunch of folders and these are all preset brush types. Uh, kind of that you can use as a paintbrush. Okay, so I'm going to go to trees and I'm going to select something that will respond nicely to wind and I'll take a bamboo here. Okay, I'm going to select that. I'm going to minimize that and now suddenly you see that uh, my cursor turned into kind of a, you know, a marker or a crayon or whatnot. I'm going to switch to my top view and roughly around the center of my grid. I'm going to left click hold I'm just going to drag that out a little bit, okay, and release. Now, if I zoom in to my grid and my perspective view, I suddenly have this bamboo going on, right? Nice. Now, with this set, um, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Control A to pull up the attribute editor, and suddenly you have a number of tabs. You got the stroke uh, bamboo one, the stroke shape bamboo one, bamboo one, and time one, okay? Now, we're going to just set all these sliders to the top here if they are not already there we go and we're going to start in bamboo one now the first slider here global scale will allow you to increase or decrease the overall size of your tree okay so as i pull on this slide here you can see that's growing or you know getting smaller all right we're going to scroll down a bit we got uh, some options for width. You can kind of see that it's uh, responding slightly. It's the width of the brush type. Same for softness and so forth. We're going to skip that. And you have the option to twist. And as you can see, it's kind of twisting around here. If you would like to do that. Uh, let's see what else. Um, you can add thorns, you know, branch thorns, twig thorns. We're not going to do that either, but the option is there. And we're going to go down to, let's say, uh, tubes. And under tubes, you have the option to increase or decrease the number of tubes. So this is kind of a very big brush of bamboo. And this is pretty much what we had. Uh, let's see, you have the length that you can kind of tweak. You can make them very tall or not so tall, like so. Uh, let's see what else. But what we want is to kind of animate this, all right? So we're going to go down to, uh, let's see, where is that behavior? And we're going to select that tab there. And then we're going to go to turbulence. And then under turbulence, instead of off, we're going to select tree wind okay now like any animation you need a number of frames to allow that to play out so let's do i don't know 2500 frames just so we got more than enough all right let's just hit play and see what happens and as you can see the bamboo is kind of responding to the wind it's moving a bit fast so let's see if we can tweak that a little bit okay now there are a couple of things you can play with here you have the turbulence obviously if you move that slider up, it's suddenly hurricane force and, you know, branches are breaking off almost. Let's bring that way down to, let's say, 0013. You can tweak the frequency and bumping that up gives kind of an unnatural look because the leaves are simply moving too fast. So I would kind of keep that low as well, actually quite low. That looks probably a bit better. We're going to bring down the turbulence speed. And that's kind of nice. Looks fairly natural. Let's see what else we got. 
we got the option to set bend and you can see how it is responding. I wouldn't go crazy on that. So let's just leave that at zero. And that looks all right, I guess. And so these are just a couple of things that you can do to uh, animate this tree, all right? Now we'll quickly do one more just to show you that this doesn't only apply to trees, but also uh, to, for example, plants. So we're just going to stop that. We're going to go to Windows, uh, General Editors. We're going to go to Visor. Let's look up uh, plants. And let's see what do we got here that we can use. Uh, we got a fern. Yeah, let's do this one. OK, same deal. I'm going to go up here and let's just create something here. Let's see what we got. Not quite sure if this thing looks good or not. Okay, so it's just kind of one leaf, looks like. So let's see if we can uh, influence that or not. All right. So we're just going to go to the top here. First of all, global scale. Again, we can use uh, use that to tweak it. Uh, width looks okay. And let's see if we can increase this. It looks like the one that we selected is just an individual branch. So what we'll do is we'll just ignore that and we'll choose another one. Uh, let's see. Um, pine needles. Pine cones. I'm certainly not a plant specialist, so let's see. Corn, that's kind of interesting. Okay, we're going to try that over here. All right, let's hit F to zoom in. So that's our corn right there. Okay, and let's go up and global scale again. You can kind of tweak that the way you like. What we'll do is, uh, let's see, we're not going to play with the width. That's fine. Again, you can twist if you like. Not going to do that. Thorns, we're going to skip that. We're going to go uh, to, let's see, tubes. You can kind of increase the steps to get, um, you know, higher density in the row of corn, if you like. Uh, let's see. At the start here, you can increase that as well. You can increase the number of segments. Okay. Again, length. Bring that up or down, depending on what you want. We're going to leave all that for now. Okay. Growth. You can, you know, twigs and branches. You can tweak that. And that kind of looks odd. We'll leave that. And let's go back to our behavior. We're going to go to turbulence. We're going to turn that on. Tree wind once again. And let's just simply hit play and see what we've got. And there you go. You can see that it's uh, moving nicely. So uh, yeah, that's all there's to it. That's how you do that. So uh, hopefully this was helpful. You can see that my bamboo is still responding as well. And uh, it would be cool if you have some uh, nice use for this effect. So that said, thank you guys for watching, and I'd love to see you guys next time. Bye.